What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys the new build that I'm making in NBA 2K20. My first build was a pure stretch big and my second build was a slasher sharpshooter guard. And the stretch big is a very good build but I want to make a build that can run the 3 when I play 3v3 in park. So this is going to be the build, it is going to be a center. For the archetype we're going to go with primary sharpshooter and defense and rebounding. When it comes to the physical profile we want the most strength and vertical and this second pie chart here is the one with the most strength and vertical. However, if I do choose this bottom pie chart, it is much better. I'll show you guys once we get to the weight and the wingspan, but we're going to choose the bottom pie chart for this build. When it comes to the attributes, we want to max out the close shot, max out the driving dunk, max out the standing dunk, and put the driving layup up until I hit five finishing badges. Then into the shooting, we want to max out the mid-range, max out the three-pointer, and max out the post fade. You could max out the free throw, get 17 shooting badges, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to use this build for Pro-Am. I'm just going to use it for Park. Then when it comes to playmaking, we want to max out the post moves and put the passing accuracy up until we hit 6 playmaking badges. There we go, 68 pass accuracy and 6 playmaking badges. Now onto defense, max out the interior defense, max out the block, max out the offensive rebound, and max out the defensive rebound. So this build could have 17 shooting badges and a finishing badge, but I want it to be more of an all-around build. So I'm going to stick with 5 finishing badges, 13 shooting, 6 playmaking, and 20 defense and rebounding. So for the body type, we're going to find... And for those of you that have been asking, body type doesn't matter. I just choose to find because it does look the best. And when it comes to the height, we want to go 7 foot 2. 7 foot 3 is good, but 7 foot 2 is definitely better. You get a lot more speed. And once I do mess with the weight, the strength is going to go up to 95 anyway. So 7 foot 2 is much better because I could shoot much better. And my interior defense will be 95 on a 7 foot 2 and 7 foot 3. So may as well choose the faster player. For the weight, we definitely want to max it out. So that way we get 95 interior defense. I would say put it down a little bit, but once you do that, the interior defense does drop. So we're going to go 290 pounds and we're going to go max wingspan. So this build is basically a glass cleaning lockdown, but it can shoot once you get the shooting badges and if you know how to time your shot. And on NBA 2K19 with my playmaking post score, I had a 63 three-pointer and no shooting badges and I was shooting lights out. So I'm pretty sure I will be able to shoot on this build once I get badges. A 65 three-pointer is fine with me. And this build also has 95 strength, 95 interior defense, and a 93 block. So this is basically a glass cleaning lockdown build that can shoot. If you are more of a beginner to this game, I wouldn't suggest using this build because it might be hard for you to shoot with a 65 three. But I'm gonna try this build out, see how it is once I get all my badges. And if everything works out, this is gonna be my big man build for the year. And I was actually thinking of making that Pain Beast build, but I really don't like not being able to shoot on a player. I feel like that limits your game a lot. People will just sit in the paint and it will be much harder to score. But this build can score from the three point line, it can score from inside the paint. And when a player can do that, it's much easier to create your own shots. So with the takeover, I'm gonna go Rim Protector takeover. Glass Cleaner takeover is definitely good, but I don't think it's worth it. Especially because you can see when people green, you can see when they get full bars, you can see when they get half bars. So you kind of know when the shot is missing either way. So glass cutter takeover is not as useful anymore. So I'm definitely going to go with rim protector takeover. And as you can see, it does say the build is still a glass cleaning lockdown, but it is a stretch lockdown. Now going on to the badges for this build, I think the three best badges are back down punisher, contact finisher, and drop stepper. I think I'm going to put back down punisher gold and leave the other two bronze or back down punisher silver and contact finisher silver once i get my badges i'll just play around with these three see which ones are the best and i'll adjust them from there but for now i'm gonna go with two silver and one bronze badge there for shooting i'm gonna go catch and shoot gold for sure on a seven foot two player i'm gonna be super slow and almost all of my three pointers are gonna be off catch and shoots because i won't really be able to create my own shot i'm also gonna go with quick draw hall of fame i think that's the most important at least for me i like fast jump shots and when a jump shot is fast it is harder to contest so these are going to be the first two badges I'm going with once I do get my hot zones I'm gonna get hot zone hunter gold and once I can time my release a lot better I'm gonna get green machine gold even though I have a 65 three-pointer green machine and hot zone hunter are gonna help me a lot to hit three-pointers as long as I know my jump shot and I have my hot zone so we're gonna go with those shooting badges onto the playmaking badges I think the best ones are break starter postman technician and unpluckable for now I'm gonna go with postman technician gold break starter silver and unpluckable bronze and now going on to the best part, the defense. We're going to go with Box Hall of Fame, Brick Wall Hall of Fame, Rebound Chaser Hall of Fame, Intimidator Hall of Fame, and Worm Hall of Fame. You could also go with Post Move Lockdown. I'm not sure how that badge is. I'm not sure whether it's good or not. I might try it out and I might end up switching a few of my badges to gold just so I can get this one on gold as well. But these are for sure the five best badges. 
for this build. I think Post Move Lockdown and Rim Protector are the only other ones that might be worth it on this build. But here are the badges. So we have six Hall of Fame badges, four gold badges, three silver badges, and a bronze badge. And once again, I think this build is much better than a Paint Beast. In terms of versatility, obviously a Paint Beast is much better in the paint. And this build isn't going to be crazy in the paint because it only has five finishing badges, but it does have 95 strength. So as long as you know how to use it correctly, you should be good with it. And in the player creation screen, it actually did say I'm a glass cleaning lockdown. People will think I chose the pure defensive build and they'll just leave me open at the three. And with gold catch and shoot, that will be crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh and I'm out.